like, I don't know, it's just dope. Like, we're all helping each other grow, like, in every aspect, you know what I mean? So, mm. it's just been cool. It's been it's, it's been an awesome ride, man. <laughs> it's <laughs> fun, real. bro. It's a fun ride, man. For real music. Music's everything to me. Hey. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, don't blame me. Hey. Yeah. Just for me. Hey. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Wait a minute. Hey. Yeah. I'ma go up to the playoffs, lil' bitch, you just see me winning. I ain't talk about no bitches, lil' bitch, I'ma get my digits, hey, yeah. Welcome, everyone, to another episode of 20 Minute Chats with Galaxy Boy. Man, I've been having some technical difficulties with my, my iMac, if you guys don't know. I freaking end up losing like three years worth of music. And this is the first podcast back, and I'm excited, man. Because I'm out of breath. <laughs> and um, no, we have great energy. I have great energy today in the building. Um, you know, this kid. Man, how, how do I even get introduced to you, man? Um, I think you followed me on Instagram. But I've heard nothing but great things from you. You know, you wouldn't be in here unless I didn't. You know what I mean? Um, you know, this kid got talent. You know, he got the dope sound. And, you know... Fucking great, fucking Clay. <laughs> fucking, we got you, Clay brother. in the studio. Thank you, appreciate it. Welcome, my guy. How beautiful, you doing, my dude? Beautiful introduction. I'm doing good, brother. How are you? I'm doing fantastic, my dude. That's my good. Guy. That's good. Thank uh, you. Actually, no, nah, I'm losing my voice a little bit, but it's all right. <laughs> it's all right. We'll push through it. We'll push through it. <laughs> yeah, but you're here. You know, um, man. How's your day going? That's uh, going good so far. Uh, been up since four, so you know, it's a good. Good couple hours in already. <laughs> what were you doing that for? Nah, man, I just I just wake up early. I like to get my day going. Whatever it may be, just making beats or I don't know, just catching up on stuff. I just like to get my day going. I've been like that since like middle of high school, maybe. That's wild. Yeah, just I don't know. It's a good schedule, I guess. I'm a morning person. What time do you go to sleep? Uh, I mean, like latest, like I don't know, like twelve probably, but twelve and you wake yeah. up at four. Or yeah, five? So four or five, yeah. Five five is a good one, but uh mm. yeah, like nine o'clock sometimes, man. Gotta gotta be up on that grind and make music. <laughs> <laughs> um no man, um man, we got we got in contact through Instagram, but you know, we recently touched base over at the Messy Room Records headline show. Yes, yeah, shout Documentary out to coming Room. soon. Um but um, they have nothing but great things to say. You, AM, Big Tone, fucking everyone. They're, they're ready to sign you. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it. Um, but, you know, there are beginnings to that. You know, you weren't always pursuing music. You know, there had to be a fire under your belly to get lit before you got there. And so, you know what? Let's start from the beginning, my dude. You know, where, cool. where does music start for you? Where were you even introduced to wanting to become a producer? Man, uh, I've been in music since a kid. My my dad, he's in a rock band, so I've just always been around music. And my mom, she was into, like, the whole hip-hop and all that era. So I just got, like, a good mixture of both of it. Like, I was always going to my dad's shows and stuff, like, growing up. And he's a drummer, so... That's probably, like, where, like, producing, like, caught my ear anyways because I'm just good with the drums, like, naturally just hearing it over the years, like, him playing. Um, but, yeah, man, I don't know. Like, just started young, and then, like, t early 2017, I'd say, is when I started, like, making beats. I was messing around on my dad's, uh, my, my dad's program. He's got Studio One, mm. and we had, like, my grandma's old keyboard, like, uh, she brought it up or whatever, and... We were just messing around with it, and we plugged it into Studio One, and, like, I don't know, I just kind of started having fun with it, man. And How old are you at this point? Uh, I was, what, 2017, so, I don't know, 16? I mean, mm -hmm. 17? Early, early. Like, pretty young. Like, I was, like, sophomore or something like that. I'm bad with times. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, early on. And then, like, I don't know. I've just been a fan of music, like, my whole life. Like, it's my therapy. Like, just listening to music. Like, I don't know. It's just one of the things that I love doing. And it keeps me, like, happy. Like, keeps me motivated. Like, I like listening to music that wants to get me going throughout the day, I guess. And, like, stuff that, like, keeps me, like, energetic in a way. Like, I don't really listen to a lot of sad stuff. <laughs> but, uh 
What made you want to be a producer then? Like you start, I don't know, you, I just, you, you, you start, you know, messing around with your your dad's guitar. Nah, and as you just, get older, you're like what what happens? Who 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 is that guy who's like, hey yo, we're playing, we're, we're we're messing with FL Studio, or you know, what what is that? I don't know YouTube, I guess. <laughs> some some st- stumbled the recommendations? upon it on YouTube, yeah, and then like I just saw interest in it. I saw like it was what my dad like does, but in a different way, I guess, like mm-hmm. the program. So I wanted to see if I could just do that on there, and then I did, and then. Yeah, and then I was just messing around with that on Studio One for like like a year or so, and then my dad, uh, thankfully, he brought he bought me a computer and nice little setup and stuff, and started messing around on FL Studio. I was terrible at FL Studio at first; like it was so much different than Studio One. Like, like I gotta take that off my bed; it's messing with me. No, oh, bro, uh, <laughs> same, bro, I was the same. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it was way different than Studio One, like the whole layout and everything of it. What's so. Studio One? It's just another program. I've never yeah, even yeah, heard it's of just that. another DAW. It's it's a uh, it's used for a lot more like like realistic like instruments like bands like stuff like that. Oh, okay. Um, like I mean I mean I'm sure a lot of producers use it too, but yeah, no, that uh, makes sense that you would get into music. Um, you know that your dad's already you know in his own band he, mm-hmm. he, music's all around you all the time just like us like i'm pretty sure like we, we like if i had a kid like i would just like you know pats the guitar here and there yeah 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 he uh he uh tried teaching me drums when i was younger there's pictures of me playing drums and stuff mm-hmm. i actually used one of the pictures on my lost and misled song if people know about that it's a picture of me playing the drums when oh, i was that a you? kid yeah yeah oh shit uh and it didn't stick with me i mean it i guess it did technically through like fl but <laughs> yeah. not real instruments um but yeah i don't know man i just i just been having a blast with music it's it's really my therapy it keeps me at peace keeps me out of like just bad mindsets and trouble and keeps me motivated it's it's one of the things i've always wanted to do as a kid was just make music like whichever way it was gonna be i don't know it turned out to be producer and music's I'm, beautiful bro it yeah, keeps you away from a lot of dumb shit real. For real, and I don't know, man. I just love it, and I like just over like the last uh, like year, I started slowly getting into like like making songs. Like I had that my very first song was Lil Mama, and mm. um, I made that like like I, t- I was telling you earlier that was the first time I ever got on the mic. Yeah, that's and, a real because uh, uh, a lot of the songs are really bouncy, like almost like a Lil Uzi influence and stuff like that, and then. I was listening to it and I heard that you know some dope lines like you know talk you talking about or some deep lines some personal lines about you talking about your friend passing and you know the line was pretty much um, you know what was the line? Uh, shit, hold up, that was. Oh, I know what it is. Twenty twenty one. I was just saying you up. It was a uh, um, man. You gonna put me on the spot? Nah, that's cool. I got you. I got you. But nah, the line was was it people was... Uh, people say. That it's God's in t- uh, God's plan, but it felt like de- yeah, yeah, demons God's work. plan and demons work. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Fuck my bad. You're good. You're good. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. I forget uh, my lines too. So. Yeah, I like having I like having like lyrics and stuff that like that people can relate to in a way, and people that can like they can sit back and think on it, you know, and they can mm-hmm. be like, damn, like, because a lot of people go through stuff, man, like. In different different like ways, you know what I mean. Different things that people go through, and I feel like if you're vulnerable on a song, and like, you know, you're kind of like letting your feelings out to people, like it grabs more people's attention because they can relate to it in a way too, you know. So, I don't know. I like having I like having stuff that like it sound it sounds good, you know. Like if it was playing you know, in a club or what example a club or whatever, but like also to have like some meaning behind it, I That's guess. That's so like, dope. Yeah, like. I don't know, and like I freestyle everything too. Like I freestyle it, kind of think of cadences, and then I'll like go back and like mess with the words and do all that. So, because I like to be in the moment when I make songs. Like I don't like to, like I made one song. I'll show you later. It's I haven't dropped it. I, I can't <laughs> drop it unfortunately, because um, the homies that I did the beat with, they're in Russia. Oh shit. Yeah, and PayPal's not working with Russia right now, so they can't get their money, so I can't get the royalties to drop it. But Damn. when I drop it, it'll be that'll be like one of the ones Russia that, on the beat. Yeah, it's called Heartbroken. Bombs but that one that one I wrote. <laughs> like that was one of the only ones that I really wrote. And I like even then, like recording it, like I've totally flipped the way I wrote it, you know, mm. like it was not in order of how I wrote it, so mm. I don't know. I 
I don't know. Kind of like chopped <laughs> it up a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. A little water break for us. Yeah, stay hydrated always. Drink water. It's good for your soul. Yes, sir. Um, no, the, um, yeah, that's dope that you, you're able to, um, you know, have this, um, this bounce to your records, like a lot of like, boom, 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 and bang, bang, bang. bang. <laughs> you know? Like, did, like, these records are just like, I don't know, what would you say, like, the sound is for that? I don't know, my own sound, I guess. Like, I don't know, over the course of, like, the time I've been making music. I guess it's like, digestible. I think that's the thing, like, like for, like, a wider audience. Yeah, like, I don't know. I like, like, because that's just, like, what I like, I guess, you know. Mm-hmm. I like I like bass, and I like bouncy stuff. Like, I like to some stuff you can bop your head to, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like, like that's why I was saying just a little bit ago, too. I don't really like sad stuff, because me personally, I can't really vibe out to sad stuff or, like, mm-hmm. slow stuff, like... I like fast, like, I don't know. And I'm very, very influenced by Juice World, rest in peace, Juice. Like, yeah. beat-wise and just lyric-wise, too, just everything, Cadence flows, like, he heavily inspired me, like, with everything, sound, probably, like, Nick Mira, too, like, like with his melodies, like, just the melodicness, like, that's what I gravitate towards, too. And so, like, I, I uh, over the years, just Im- implemented it in my music, I guess. Mm. I, I like it, so that's what I do. <laughs> no, I fuck with it, bro. Thank that's you. That's a whole Thank different you. sound. Not Thank everyone you. is uh, doing over here. Um, not that I know of. Um, a lot of people are doing over here. It's the West Coast sound that everyone's been you know, talking about that's really popular around here. And that's just hard, too. It's yeah, dope. No, I fuck with it. I fuck with it. Um, but, you know, everyone, you know, we don't all have to do West Coast shit, you know? Yeah, yeah. And, so, and I'm not, see, like, like, I listen to West Coast, but, like, See, I've even tried to hop on a West Coast beat before, and it did not work. Like, <laughs> you know, like the different people just got their own lanes, you know, and you know, different, different uh, things growing up, like things you like listening to, like that's why, like, uh, I'm also trying to get into, um, like, my buddy, my homie Sway. Uh, he's starting to get into shout like, out Sway. Yeah, shout out Sway. Man, I got a lot of people to shout out. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll have time for it. We'll have time at the end. Um, He's starting to get into like, um, how do you say it? Like more lo-fi ish, I guess. Like soul, more crunchy. Kinda. Yeah, so I'm kind of like trying to learn to use realistic instruments with my beats. Like, it's hard though in a way. So like, I'll I'll, I'll make my beat normal, and then I'll put realistic sounds. <laughs> I'll throw them in there, and I'll mm. be like, all right. So I'll I'll change some stuff up, and but yeah, like just a bunch of my homies. They're trying to like expand out of their uh, their comfort zone, I guess, and. Mm. It's helping me do it too, like just meeting a uh, like bunch of new people too, cause I've been pretty secluded with my music for a while, you know, cause I just been working on myself. So meeting all these new people, like they're different, uh, how do you say, it? work ethics and like goals and everything and how it you just. You are who you surround yourself with. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. And like I don't know, it's just dope. Like we're all helping each other grow, like in every aspect you know what i mean so mm. it's just been cool it's been it's, it's been an awesome ride man <laughs> it's <laughs> fun real, bro it's a fun ride man real music music's everything to me yeah man um no matter what you guys do you know the audience um fucking see it through man you know you're, do free work free work will get you in the doors you would have to pay for i'll tell you that one you know like for real um if that's you know producing for free or you know collaborating for free in any aspect um you know please 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 do that give out the free beats you know and then you'll gain a relationship with people and then gain friendships and stuff and and the energy is way more better like that you know i mean and then you know the money will come you know exactly yeah money money and money come one day Money's everywhere, man. It's not going to go away. So, I mean, it might. Who knows? (laughs) I know, right? But, yeah, man, like, I never never really charge for beats. I've only sold, like, three beats, you know? Like, Mm. one of them was quite a bit of money because... So, the way it worked was, like, I collab... Like, I paid to collab with a guy because, like, he had, like, a a big audience or whatever. Like, so Mm. he did, like, paid collabs or whatever. So, I paid to collab with him and then... We sold the beat, but like, so I basically just got my money back in a way. Mm. But like, that was like one of the only times I ever sold the beat, and ever, ever, like, everything else just free. Like, yeah, hit me up for some beats. Yeah. Because <laughs> I just want to get my name out. <laughs> yeah, but well, that's, you're, you're not paying for 
uh, you're not gaining anything from money wise, but you're gaining, you know, your clout in a sense. You know, you're gaining a name. You know, your yeah, beats or, out there. Yeah, or even like just relationships too with artists, like just you know building building cool relationships and just because you know at the end of the day, like, and what I've always wanted, my bad, was just to be able to just make music. You know, what I mean, like, I never even thought of like, like the you know being in big label or whatever from music like i've always just wanted to like like that's why i practiced for so long was just to be able to make something that sounds good mm-hmm. like and if you can do that eventually the people will just come you know what i mean like everything else comes but if you can just work on like your sound like that's what i did was just work on my sound and just try to like make it so i like it you know what i mean like really if well. i can vibe to it like I really don't care because that's all I do now is just listen to my own stuff, man. Like, <laughs> for real, like, that's all I do. Like, Make me sure. and my homie stuff. Erase the pressure, bro. For Erase what? Because people are going to still hate your shit even if you try to make shit for them. You know, yeah, people are still going to be like, nah, like, this is like. Right. But exactly, when you start making yeah. shit for yourself, you're like, man, fuck yeah. Exactly. You know, that's where the sauce is. Mm-hmm. And I feel like that really helps me as a producer, too, because, like, I was just talking to AM about this recently. Um, shout out AM. Shout out AM. <laughs> yeah, for real. Um, shout out Tony. Shout out Tony for putting me on to everyone. Yo, for fuck real, Tony. bro. <laughs> <laughs> I just nah, fucking, nah. I just uh, kidding. Shout out Tony. But yeah, bro. Um, I was telling him recently. Like, one of the things I struggle with is like, like someone will hit me up. They'll be like, like try to make like a beat, like, like in this kind of style, right? And my brain just goes crazy, bro. Just like, oh shit, like they want it exactly like that. You know what I mean? Like da da da. First, like I don't know. I always struggle with that for some reason. So recently, I've just been like making shit like like in that style, but like that I like. You know what I mean? Like not trying to do like different different stuff. Like I mean, you I do different stuff, but like still make it to my liking instead of trying to appeal somebody else. You know what yeah. I mean? Because like I feel like. I make a lot of beats that, like, I don't like, that, like, a lot of people mess with, but, like, I still, like, did them in my style, I guess, you know mm. what I mean? I didn't go to, like, try to, like, mimic something, and, like, I know people aren't, like, you know, when they hit me up telling me to make those beats, like, they're not telling me to mimic that beat, but, like, that's just where my mind goes, you mm. know? It's just, like, ah, oh, they want it just like that. You're making your own version. Yeah, exactly, and, like, that's where I gotta, like, remind myself a lot, like, like, they want they want what clay can make you know what i mean Ooh. not like what someone else can make they're coming to you for something so give them what you do you know what i mean yes yeah fuck yeah let me see where we at um yeah. let's wrap it up baby oh damn uh, yeah i know 20 minutes slides bro i'm probably gonna yeah. start staying these to like 30 minutes 30 30 minute chats <laughs> my bad if i talked a lot guys no no you're fucking great you're fucking great i wasn't bored at all <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah. Appreciate no it. um any goals you got going on right now? Any shout outs? Yeah, man, I want to shout out everyone, man. Um, man, where should I start? My pops, first of all. <laughs> shout out pops. My pops and my mom, you know what I mean? Family, family first always. My brother, um, all the homies, 21, Sway, uh, Culprit, you know what I mean? Ray, just, just everyone, man. Logan, you know what I mean? Everyone, they're always supporting, showing love. I appreciate it. I got two projects I'm working on in, within the year, so don't think anytime soon. One of them will be soon, though. Um, it's going to be like a solo project. I want just like just me on it, you know? I don't know if it's going to be like an EP or an album, but it'll be like, if it's an EP, at least five or six songs. Mm. And then I'm also working on producer album, so that'll be coming That's this right. year for sure. No I want, doing that here. Yeah, it's going to be called... Back in Blood, so wait for that. And then the EP or album will be called uh, The World Awaits. So, hey, if you guys want to listen to his music or anything, all in the description. Please make sure to subscribe, like, fucking share his music, share our music. Where do I got it out right now? I don't think I got anything going coming out yet. But man, just check out everyone from Reacts, man. Share the love. We should all just help each other grow, man. For real, if we can, if man, if just one person every single time clicks on something, just every day, that'll help everyone grow. You know what I mean? We can get up out of here. So hey, let's, let's do, do it, guys. It.
Um, I appreciate your time coming in here, my appreciate bro. You. We're about to cook up. We're about to, you know, yes, show sir. you some shit. Um, man, it's been great, man. I want to keep talking, you know? <laughs> I know, for real. Um, I mean, we will, but off camera. <laughs> off camera. Um, but, man, I'm going to have to get you in here again for with, real, uh, with the 60 Minute Chats. Get you Ooh. in here with, like, Big Tone and AM. Yeah. I think it'll be a great conversation. That'd be lit. Um, love you, my guy. Appreciate you, Doc. Hey, I'm a little snake on no house.